for any kind of work you want to uh, disconnect the battery, we're just gonna go ahead and turn this key forward. We wanna go ahead and hit the brake with our hand and then we're gonna drag this back so we can get all this stuff out. If you have a manual transmission, just toss it back. But when you're doing this, make sure no matter what your e-brake is on. Uh, Cause I mean, with half my body hanging out the car, you wanna make sure that uh, you've got all the screws out and you don't force anything if it doesn't have to be because these trim pieces, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty delicate. All right, so we're over here at the uh, workbench, obviously. When you're working with trim pieces that have been touched by human hands for 15 years, there's gonna be a lot of grease build up on that. Even people wipe these with armor all and plastic likes to absorb things like that. So uh, in order to get a good finish, uh, you wanna use plastic primer, but you also wanna wash this with a degreaser. And I mean, your standard cheap dollar store dish soap will work just fine. It's also very important that you uh, sand it down really nice. But what I've done is I've set up a little contraption with just pieces of cardboard here. So everything's in together uh, in the sh basic shape that it's gonna be when it's in the car. In this, I have actually cut a hole out in the cardboard box that I've got holding this up. So that way, when you splatter this in the shape, then you can freehand on them and it'll look good inside the car. All right, so when you're working with spray paint here, make sure you know what kind of texture you're working with. That came out pretty uneven. This can's got a lot more pressure than those ones do, or, or so it seemed pretty quick on this. As you're going around, you wanna look around on the sides, make sure that you're getting everything. You wanna move around your project. That's why it's important to have a nice big open area. Right now, I'm spraying black over. Spray paints can mix very, very poorly, and, and that's a bad, bad thing. Um, I've, I've pulled it off a few times, but uh, if that happens, you uh, you got a big, big mess to clean up. So the idea is we're gonna take this cap and fill it with spray paint and then just splatter it on there. If I had it my way, I would have used gloves. Now I'm covered in spray paint. The result is actually very cool.